All right, so let's take a little look at what cash inflows really are. Well, we've learned so far that cash inflow is simply all the cash received by a business over a certain period, and this will come from the customers when they buy things, or they will come from the bank in the form of bank overdraft or any other source of finance that you may be taking from them. So anytime cash is received, it's recorded as a cash inflow. And that's where you see the money flowing into the business. Now, a few things to remember about this is that all cash flow forecasts and all cash flow uh, cash inflows are recorded periodically, so monthly or weekly as you've learned so far. Cash inflows include the cash sales as well as credit sales, which we see in the form of trade receivables. Now, trade receivables are a big part of your uh, cash management. So we're going to look at it in a little more detail in a minute. So cash inflows, all these things, but need to save cash whenever it's recorded as cash inflow. So just to sum it up, what are the sources that these businesses are looking at in terms of receiving cash? First of all, of course, there's your personal savings. Business is started by an entrepreneur, and there's usually an injection of cash from the entrepreneur. So there's your personal savings, or you may have in a, uh, sold your idea to other investors, other interested parties, and they may have injected some cash. So some cash will be coming from there, and that's recorded as a cash inflow. Then there's all sorts of banking products that are available for a business whenever there's a shortfall or whenever they want to start a business or they want to expand a business. They can ask the bank for cash in the form of a bank loan or a bank overdraft, which is a short fix for any cash shortfall. Additionally, this, of course, what you're working towards is revenue. The higher the revenue is, the higher the top line is, the more profit you'll be making, and of course, the more cash will start flowing into the business. So this is a win-win situation, more profit and more cash. So there's obviously a big focus towards bringing more revenue from your customers. And finally, every time your credit sales are paid up. So remember, credit sales are when you sold the product and the customer is supposed to pay for a little bit later, maybe a week, a month, however much the credit period is given. When that cash is received on a later date, that is also an inflow of cash. So collectively, all four of these will help you to uh, sum up the total inflow of cash for a business within a certain period. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.